Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. So we opened up the chest and got the black key, but something started happening. Oh, jeez, man. This doesn't look good. No, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! Yep, so we've got to find our way out of here, and we got a neat little timer down there at the bottom. Uh, okay, what I think we need to do is come up here to the top first, then make our way all the way down to the bottom. They make you take pretty much the longest path back through this, but I mean, you've got plenty of time. Look at this. I've still got 32 seconds, so even if you didn't have any idea where to go, you could still get through that without any trouble. Man, that was too close. Uh, not really. Gotta shake it off. Whew. All right. We got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, come on, open it. There you go. Hey there. Boy, I I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Yep, here we go. Wee hee 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 hee! Fools! Aw oh, man, here we go again. Come on Mario, this is the second time you've fallen for that trick now. Why, only the most idiotic, pudding-brained adult would fall for a scheme like that. Nice words. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly googly boo! That's probably like the least intimidating thing you could say. Wee hee hee hee, now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Wee hee 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 hee, what a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Man, could, could you stop cursing for a little bit here? Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press and hold R. Press and hold R now. Yep, so we do it, and whoa, nice, we're like paper thin there. Wee hee hee hee! Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> Do you understand what this curse means? Yeah. Oh, th these answers are so unimaginative. Like the last one's like, oh, I get it. It's horrible. We can't be sarcastic this time. Come on. All right. So the the curse box monster went away, and we've now gained another new little ability here. We kind of walk around really funny looking. I don't know. There's something hilarious about this to me, but <laughs> whatever. Alright, so now we head back through here, and it looks like there's not any way out, but of course this is where we're going to use our new ability. We can use it to slip between these little bars here. Oh, I was kind of hoping I... Oh, th there you go, Coops. <laughs> Alright, I was wondering where you were. And you also may notice this little Attack FX badge here. Uh, changes the sound effects of Mario's attacks. We might as well check that out, since, uh, you know, it doesn't cost any BP to use, which is always good. And if we listen closely enough... It kind of sounds like a cricket. You know, okay, just just go with me on that. But this is actually the badge that we needed to find and equip to uh, uh, exploit Hooktail's weakness. So, uh, j just go with it. It sounds like a cricket, okay? Alright, and now before we actually take the big green block up, like it's so inviting us to do, we actually need to head uh, back over to the left a few rooms. Make our way down these stairs. Okay, good. None of these guys came to life. <laughs> And as we head over back here where we fought the pink one, we can see there's actually another key back there in the little uh, prison area, I guess. So we can use our ability to slip through the bars there and uh, pick it up. So that's obviously necessary. I mean, if we uh, just took the green block up before doing this, we would find there's a locked door in our path and we'd be uh, pretty much stuck. So might as well come over here and do this first. So now that we've gotten that, we need to uh, be heading back to the green block room. We're finally going to take that block up for once. So let's make our way up these stairs. And we have arrived. Okay, so uh, basically we can just stand on the screen, but I think we can just use Cooper regularly. Yeah, we don't have to do the hold or anything. And we make our way up. So we're now on the next level. And as you can see, there's that big locked door there I was talking about. We can actually continue up the stairs to find this little uh, badge here. I don't remember what that is off the top of my head, but I do remember that we have to... Uh, it pretty much would involve a lot of backtracking to get it. And uh, I, I didn't use it in my practice file, so... <laughs> I'm probably not even going to bother with it, but I'll show you how to get it, of course, if you want to. Oh, wow, we didn't even need the recovery. Wow, what a chip. Okay, so we can uh, press the switch here, and it makes a little... Uh, bridge sort of appear there. Ooh, see the star piece back there out the window? Nice. Alright, and now we can uh, use Cooper to hit the switch across the way. Yeah, Cooper. I just called him Cooper, didn't I? No, it's Coops. We're playing a different game now. Alright, and as you can also see, there are no bars on this window. We can actually jump out, and this is how we're going to go back and get this little star piece here. So that's good, and now we can continue heading to the left, which we actually need to do, because there's no switch to make a bridge appear there. 
And we jump through the window on the other side and through the door. Alright, yeah, one of these guys comes to life here. Alright, that was really easy. Just two of those guys. One round took him out. Alright, you're gonna stay there and you're gonna stay there. Good. Okay, so we can use this hold ability once again to make our way up here. And uh, there's actually an interesting item. You may be able to see there on the left side. Now, let's take this guy out real quick. All right, and what we want to do is drop off the top side here and make our way through this fence. Now, this is interesting. We get a life shroom already. Yeah, we get our life shroom in the very first dungeon, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to... I'm not going to use half of this crap. Let's just get rid of the... Mystery. I'm never going to use that. I don't care what it does. Okay, and now we're going to have to drop back down and use the block again, but it's well worth it for a life shroom. I mean, you know, those are pretty hard to come by in the uh, in the original game, so it's kind of kind of interesting that we get our first one in the very first dungeon here. All right, so we can head over this way. I think the other, uh, the way to the right leads to a locked door. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Whoa. Huh? Oh, my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I am not a piece of cheese. I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Uh, hey, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to meet Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. Yeah, just, just spoil our plans for everybody here. So I don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Yeah, for some reason, Coops is, like, enamored with this mouse for some reason. Crystal Star, you say? <laughs> I didn't know such a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Yeah, way to go, Coops. Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first, and I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Oh, well, how nice of you. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Whoa. Hey, that was uncalled for. It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and already it is time for me to say farewell. Alas. Yeah, you're not as romantic as you think. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? <laughs> Coops, get a hold of yourself, man. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail. Yeah, I've already found that. Don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already? Maybe not. If you're going to fight hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Yeah, they really reiterate that point, don't they? Alright, so she gets out of here. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one, full of romance. Coop, snap out of it. We're here to do something, man. It's, it's kind of funny if you have Goombella in your party, because she, uh, <laughs> she pretty much keeps commenting on how much of a, uh, uh, as she puts it, how much of a floozy she is. So we got a mushroom there, which is, uh, actually, you know what, I'm gonna keep that. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, I'm gonna toss away something useless, like the sleepy sheep. And we get a few things in here. We picked up a castle key, a honey syrup, which is actually pretty nice to have. Let's get rid of the dizzy dial for that. And another shine sprite here. So a whole bunch of stuff we can loot in this area. Pretty cool. Okay, and now that we've got our key, we can pretty much head to the right now. Uh, Paragoomba here we can take out, which I'm going to switch to Gabella first. Come on. There you go. Oh. All right, now let's head through the door. Okay, we should be getting pretty close to the end of this place. I mean, I don't think there's too much more here. All right, no problems there. Another Koopa. All right, let's get going. So, uh, see another block up there, another one of these guys. Okay, it looks like our consecutive streak of leveling up in videos is probably gonna come to an end. I don't think we're gonna get the uh, necessary amount here in the next few minutes. Which is a shame, but, ah, well, what can you do? Uh, no. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come back down. Alright, so we obviously have to use the hold ability again here, and uh, ride this block up. Now, this is kind of an interesting little place. You pretty much have to hold this straight to the left, or you will actually fall off. I don't think there's anything back here, no. Alright, so now we can use our ability to get through here. And we actually, if we come uh, up here to the top, this can be a little bit tricky to gauge, because you can't actually, like, fall off the back. Uh, but if you come over here to the right, you get another star piece, which is good. Uh, it's always nice when they put that little fence down there at the bottom. That means you can hold down a little bit and still not fall off, so... Uh, we can obviously use this little airplane panel here to get up to the door that was uh, raised here. 
You kind of have to be a little bit decent at flying that. I'm not really the, the best, you know, I'm not going to claim that or anything, but you, you do have to be pretty decent to actually make that little uh, fly there. So we move the block down and uh, get the key here. And now if we actually go back down, uh, what happened is that little block that just fell. Remember that badge that was on that little raised platform above the stairs a while ago? Uh, what that actually did was create another step so you can get there. Uh, and that's how you would get it. But obviously to go down there and get it, uh, that means you would have to backtrack all the way back up here again. So I don't know. It's not really worth it for a badge I'm, I'm probably not going to use anyway. So uh, I'm just not going to mess with it. All right, we got another shine sprite here, and there's a locked door, and it uh, looks like we're about to run out of time, though, so I'm going to go through this door in the next part. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.